What is up guys another video another review and today we are taking a look at the chrysalis alien This is another xenomorph figure that is a part of the alien vs predator 1994 arcade game wave and just like the razor claw alien this guy has also grabbed my attention and this time instead of the color It's the armor on his forearms and headpiece so pulling him out of the box just visuals from painting and sculpting this guy already looks promising and I can't wait to tell you guys all about him. But obviously, we need to do a little bit of lore before we go into the figure because I like doing that. And good news for those who are not too big on the lore segment of these videos. There is not much on the Chrysalis Alien, so the lore segment of this video will be shorter than most. So let's just dive into it. The Chrysalis Alien is a big motherfucker. He is the size of a Praetorian. And for those who do not know, the Praetorians are the xenomorphs that do guard the queen. So... This guy is fucking massive. This guy has tan carapace armor that starts on his head and goes all the way to cover his back and on his forearms. And finally, the chrysalis alien got its name from when it was first encountered, it was found gestating inside of a chrysalis. And that's all we know about this guy besides the fact that he was in the 1994 Alien vs Predator arcade game. Told you it was going to be short and now we can take a look at the figure. Getting into articulation, starting with the head, obviously, he can look up and down, but barely, which is kind of sad because with the Razor Claws alien, he was able to look up and down all the way. And if you do want him to do a full 360, you can't do that. You just got to push the headpiece past the shoulders. And once you do that, you're all set. When it comes to arm articulation, arm articulation feels really good on this figure. Shoulder articulation, you can get full 360s if you were so inclined. When it comes to forearm articulation, he can get his forearm up all the way, even with the carapace armor there. So that is something I really like about this figure. And when it comes to hand articulation, nothing too crazy. It's the same formula NECA has been using for their Xenomorph figures since day one, I think. I, I haven't had, I don't have all the Xenomorph figures, so I wouldn't know. But it, so far, a theme I'm noticing with the hand articulation is it's just all the same when it comes to torso articulation he can do a full 360 which is something i'm noticing this wave can do unlike big chap or the alien warrior and then unfortunately this guy can't really do any crunches with his torso so that is an unfortunate trade-off for the 360s when it comes to legs he cannot do splits unlike the razor claw alien because of the little bits of armor coming off his thigh but he does have good knee articulation just like the razor claw but also unlike the razor claw it's not too loose it feels a little stiff so he's not going to be falling from his own weight and when it comes to foot articulation the same principle applies to the hands it's just kind of the same like every other alien figure and then the tail is actually the same as the razor claw I thought the Razor Claw's tail was unique to him because it had such a big blade at the end. So I figured, you know, oh, it's because he's the Razor Claw. No, this is what all the tails in this wave look like. And I'm not against it. I do like these tails. Getting into features with this figure, first one obviously is the second mouth. It's a simple paint and sculpt done by NECA, but very well executed nonetheless. And one thing I do want to talk about this figure is its jaw. It's a different jaw when comparing it to other xenomorphs, and it's a design I actually quite like. You can kind of see through and into his mouth. It's a, it's a very cool design. And a second feature I was not ready for was if you lift the carapace headpiece, you can pull out this entire neck and face and I I don't know any I don't have an explanation for this there's nothing in Xenopedia nothing that documented about what this is it's just a wacky and cool design I don't mind it it's just it was very out of, just out of nowhere and it's a welcome out of nowhere thing like I, I, I think I said I think it's very cool I think it's very goofy looking as well um, but yeah it's very it's very there and then obviously you push it back in and lower the headpiece to have it go back to that default state I guess that's what we'll call it and here we are at the turntable showcase segment of the video where you get a nice look at the figure without me manhandling him while I get to discuss what I like dislike just thoughts I have about the figure overall and one that I really want to get out of the way because just the whole time making this video I've been seeing it and it just 
when the xenomorph has the headpiece down and his face isn't popping out just the default form if you will he kind of looks like the mascot for megadeth it's just something i can't unsee and if you now see it you're welcome and if you don't see it well now you know how i see this figure <laughs> but um let's go over the cons first because i want to get that sour shit out of the way I don't have that many cons to begin with in the first place i only have two and they relate back to articulation starting off with the torso area there is none and i kind of wish there was some i just want this guy to do just at least half of an ab crunch just just for that posability just i don't need him to suck his own dick i should just really like it if i can get him to do half of an ab crunch so i can get more poses out of him because i really have a problem with lack of poses in these turntable segments and i did do my best to do more than three i think i did five and i don't even think that's going to be enough i just if i had better torso articulation i'd give you more poses but i can't so that's one thing i would really like approved upon on this figure and then my second issue is the articulation in the head neck area i just kind of wish you could look up and down a little bit more it's just simple as that i just i was spoiled with the razor claws uh, articulation in the head neck area some of the best head neck articulation out of any xenomorph figure i have reviewed and i just seen that these guys are from the same line i kind of wish that their head neck articulation was on the same level at least that that's what i was expecting and i was a little sad that i was wrong so i just wish he could look up and down a little bit more because don't get me wrong he can like i said just wish he could do it a little bit more so going over the pros and pretty much everything else i do have to say the paint job is where i want to start because i really do like this paint job i really like how the light gray makes the black pop out and the black really makes the sculpting pop out as well and just the weathering on the figure so it looks like this character has gotten around and has seen battle i really like the paint job on the carapace as well it looks like actual bone besides the put the sculpting aside the paint job just looks like actual bone with the tan brown and yellow and the white it just it it's just very it's a very convincing paint job and a very well executed one nonetheless by NECA because NECA is fucking awesome when it comes to their figures and yeah the sculpt the sculpt is awesome I it's it's a NECA figure I don't know I just keep praising these figures every time I review them the sculpt is awesome it's a solid sculpt I have no complaints it's like there's nothing that bothers me about this sculpt it's just awesome paint job awesome sculpt and i really am looking forward to seeing the new figures that will be coming out by NECA obviously i know that there's two new ones i think of the panther and i i, I they're not cheap they're actually more than these guys uh and they're smaller so i think that's a very weird pricing choice but i don't know why that is and that's whatever so let's go into size comparisons because I like doing size comparisons and it seems like I only do them in the alien videos but I promise in my next video that is not an alien themed video I will be doing a size comparison I was supposed to do one with the Yorori but I was so used to not doing size comparisons that I completely forgot to fucking add it like I recorded it and everything but I fucking forgot but anyways I'm ranting on the size comparisons and this is more of a comparison than an actual size comparison starting off but here is the razor claw alien who is on the left and big chap who is on the right if you haven't seen these reviews they should i go in depth with both of these figures as much as i did with this guy and there's not really much two difference in size they're all about the same height i just figured i'd show you a bunch of different versions of xenomorphs before i do size comparisons of different figures so here you go now on to the real size comparisons starting off we have hasbro star wars the black series boss jazz wears halo the spartan collection halo infinite master chief thousand toys halo infinite master chief mcfarland's doom slayer and bandai's high grade gundam death scythe and that's pretty much it guys i have nothing else to say besides i recommend this figure very good go get if you are looking for a good figure to buy in the NECA department or in the alien department if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and sub if you don't want to do that i completely understand that's a lot of energy that's why i don't even ask for you to comment and the bell's broken so why even bother but anyways hope you enjoyed 
and if you think I'm worthy of any of those things I mentioned, go ahead. If you don't think I am, don't go ahead. It's okay. And I'll see you in another one.